Hello, my name is Steve and I'm with Graphic and Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create this golden ratio template using Affinity Designer. But first... Okay, for this tutorial, I'm using Affinity Designer 1.8.4. Like always, before we start, we need a, no a new document. For that, I'm going to file new. I'm going to use my usual 1920 by 1080 with the background. Uh, you can use any kind of dimensions that you want. I'm using this one because it's the one that I always use for this video. So I'm going to hit create. Perfect, now that we have that, before we continue, just make sure that you have selected show guides, show rulers, show context toolbar and show toolbars. Like always, left click is in red and right click is in green. And any typing that I'm doing, you'll see on the bottom left, the cast key. Good, with all that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so the golden ratio is all this blah, blah, blah that you have here. The most important thing is that number that you have there is giving you the golden ratio. So that number, we are not going to use the entire number. We are going to use up to the nine that we have there. So it's 1.618039. Okay, so remember that number because we are going to use it to do the calculations and how everything pans out. Perfect. So before we start, we are going to create a rectangle and I'm going to create something like this. And then I'm coming here to my transform uh, tab and I'm going to type 1080. Okay, now make sure first to type those two numbers that are the same, the width and the height and make sure that you click in this link so any modification that you do in one will be done in the other ones. So I'm going to just put it there in the middle. So now that we have that one, I'm going to click in here. I'm going to change the color, but this is just only for, for us for identify which one is what. Okay, so now it's very simple. I'm going to hold Alt, click and drag. So I get a new a copy of the previous square. I'm going to click on my field. I'm going to change the color. And then I'm coming here to my transform tab and I'm going to hit divide and I'm going to type 1.618033, sorry, uh, 809039. Hit enter. And as you can see, the both the width and the height are actually uh, the same. So now I'm coming with this rectangle and I'm going to put it in this square at the top. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to click and drag that one. And again, on my transformation, sorry, first let's change the color so we see which one is what. And I'm going to divide by 1.618. And you get the drill. Basically now everything remains the same. Now we take this one, we made a copy, change the color, and we divide by 1.1, no, 1.618039. And we can keep going. So let's do the same. Change the color, put something like this. You can go with this as far as you want. Uh, I'm going to do two or three more because I think it's, it's more than enough. Let me do another one. Let's change the color. If not, then it's very difficult to find out which one is doing what. Mm, and we can put that one there. And maybe let's make another small one there. Like 
Now let's change the color again. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. So basically now my golden ratio uh, spiral is going to come from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that one. Sorry, I'm going to generate um, a donut and I'm coming here to the top corner. Hold a second. There we go. And I'm going to hit Command Shift to make it perfectly square and I'm coming here to the border there. Perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it almost nothing. Let's come here to uh, the stroke. Let's make it one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it like this, bring it like this and bring it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Command J to make a duplicate. I'm going now to the transformation uh, tab and I'm going to multiply by 1.618039. So what I'm going to do with this one selected, I'm going to rotate it like this. I'm holding shift and then I'm going to put it in there. Okay, so now with that one done, now is Command J, and as you can see, your golden ratio start getting there. So perfect. So basically now that we have those ones, what I can do is I can come here, select all those ones, and click. We can select all these, and we can make Control J, Control G, sorry, and basically that is your um, golden ratio spiral. Okay, I think is that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Like always, remember to subscribe to hit the notification bell. Any comments, please in the section down below. And like always, I'm seeing you in the next video.